Hi, I'm Tracy and I'm an environment educator here at Green Acres and today we're at the pond site. Insects come in all shapes, colors, and sizes. If you want to learn if it's a true insect, count six legs, three body parts, and look for those antenna. Now today we're going to go travel to a couple different habitats and we're going to learn about plants and insects and see how they help each other to survive. Right now, I'm in the field habitat, and if you look around, you see a lot of small plants. Have you ever seen a bee or a butterfly on a flower? Well, it wants to go and get a nice sugary drink, that nectar, from in the flower. Then it gets pollen stuck on itself. When it goes to another flower, it spreads that pollen, which helps create seeds for that flower, and then you get more flowers. These flowers can't just up and walk away. They need those insects to come and do all the work for them. So thank you, pollinators. Now, they're not just drinking the flowers. Some are sitting on these leaves, munching on the leaves all day long. And they're usually camouflaged, which means blending in with their background. You don't even see them. Other insects can actually hide under the flowers and the plants and they use the plants for protection, a shelter from predators. A lot of cool things happening in the field. And now I wanna to go to the forest and check out what's going on with the plants and insects there. Here we are in the forest habitat. You've probably found the seed of a tree before, like an acorn or a helicopter seed. They actually have flowers too, and they need those same pollinators that we talked about to make the seeds that you found. Now, another thing that I love about the forest is that insects help remind us how important plants and trees are, even after they die. Look around, see all these logs, these dead trees? It's the perfect place to find insects. They love living there because, look, they can eat the dead wood. They have really good hiding spots for their eggs, and it provides great protection from predators. I wanna go and look for some insects now. Come on. Oh look, a baby insect in its larval stage. Oh, those are some big ants. That's a true insect. Hey, harvest men, too many legs, only one body part. Hmm, what else can we find? Oh, I see something moving. Can you find them? Oh, so big. You don't have any legs, little worm. Oh, so fast. Another insect relative. Awesome. All right, we have one more habitat to explore. Let's go see how the insects use the plants there. The plants at the pond are really special. They live and grow in the water. That makes for some happy insects. They can use the plants to eat, to hide under from predators, and maybe even for some resting. I've had a lot of fun with you guys today. I loved exploring that relationship between plants and insects. Now it's your turn. I want you to go find a plant, a little flower, a big tree, and look for some bugs. Is it a true insect? How many legs? Can you find antenna, body parts? All right, well, thanks for joining me, and we'll see you next time here at Green Acres.